Hey, welcome. Before we get started on tonight's regular show, just a few corrections that some uh, some commenters pointed out on the uh, review of Dune that we wanted to give credit to. It's very nice of them. Right. Yeah. Uh, first off, Bernard Yu, House Harkonnen's sigil was a griffin and not a bull. That one's on me. Most of the mis- actually all the mistakes I think were mine. Yeah. <laughs> I very I remember very little from the book. Right. <laughs> Uh, Marvel's Mike, Duncan did in fact make it out of the initial assault in the book and died as it happened in the movie, oh. which I did mention this in the comments that uh, I did me- mention that to Anthony or Tony during the show, mm-hmm. during the actual movie, and then a friend talked me out of it, <laughs> and now oh. I kick myself for that, so thank you, Marvel's Mike. And uh, last one, Obscure Syndrome, I was wrong saying the Ixians actually closed mm-hmm. Duncan, it was actually the Bennett Lilacs. I knew that. I don't, you know you didn't, I don't know how you didn't. I know how you didn't know. Sorry, that. man. But anyway, thanks, guys, right. and uh, enjoy the sh- tonight's show. We're a different monster than me. We must fight. Oh no, we have a common enemy. We must be friends. Right, like, right. do they fight Cthulhu? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Welcome to the Giga Hub Weekly Show. Damn, I fell for it again. <laughs> Where we talk I am your about host <laughs> seven of nine. Adam you are Craig. not seven of nine. <laughs> I couldn't fit in her outfit, that's for sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, I'm Daikaiju Tony. I think about seven of nine at least seven out of nine hours of the day. <laughs> Don't ruin it for me. Okay. I am host two of two, Luis. No, oh, two of three, Luis Delatore. Yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome to the weekly show. It's disgusting. Where we talk about things that you may or may not care about. You do it so much better than I do. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, but we care about it. We care we about care it for about sure, it. yeah. Um, tonight's episode, we're going to talk some Halloween stuff. We're going to talk Ooh. specifically, everybody knows Universal Monsters, right? Classic mm. stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Fra- uh, Frankenstein. Dracula, Dracula, Wolfman. the Wolfman. Classic. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, Creature from yeah. the Black Lagoon was their last... Well, <laughs> their last attempt, what's considered the classic monsters. Um, but very few people remember <laughs> or care about the highly their, successful and their, anticipated their recent attempt at the uh, Dark Universe. Dark Universe. <laughs> Before they handed it over to Bloomhouse. We're not going to talk about the Invisible Man because that, that was after they. That's sort a of, whole other. That's yeah, after they yeah. sort of blessed it all as a failure and said, we're going to go in a different direction, sort of let Bloomhouse take over. Yep. Right. Uh, my understanding is The Invisible Man is a decent movie. It's I, I, awesome. I've, I've, also, awesome? I I've also heard that. Yeah. I haven't watched it, though. I, I saw it in the theaters. It. Oh, nice. nice. Before we get to that, though, let's yeah. talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the yeah. Mojave Desert. Guys, I, every week I tell you how great this place is. Yeah. But that pales in comparison to actually coming here because this place is pretty sweet. We have all the things that you could ever want in a comic book shop, including comic books. (laughs) I know. It's crazy. I know. Uh, We also have uh, figures, shirts, uh, posters, keychains, all kinds of stuff. Uh, G Fuel. We have G. We are the prime. Venom and Carnage G Fuel. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. They taste pretty decent. Do they? Yeah. 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 Do they? Do they awaken an animal inside you? Yes. No. One that hungers for human flesh? Well, kind of. Depends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's just an all-of-time feeling, huh? <laughs> the G Fuel only quenches I'm my thirst. I'm not sure if it awakens it or makes it worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah it thirst me later. There is, there is a voice. <laughs> like there is a voice when I drink it. Anyway, we have all that stuff. <laughs> we have some things to show you to yes. show you um, the variety of products that we have here. Why don't you go ahead and start? King of Tokyo is an amazing game. Already a kind fantastic of fantastic game. Yeah, already kind of a monster themed itself, mm-hmm. but they also have a specifically for the spooky season, King of Tokyo Halloween, Halloween. monster. Look at that. Nice. That's a cool jack o' lantern yeah. on there. It is. What it comes is in cool. it? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't have it yet. This there, is one I don't have. It looks like it's um, in the back. I can't uh, read that. I <laughs> uh, would read it. Yes, yeah, yeah. so yes, I would. Uh, we need younger ah, eyes. Yeah, <laughs> we need younger eyes. All right. I know the cameras pick up light really well, but it's actually Content. fairly dim in here. <laughs> uh, rules booklet, 16 evolution cards. Nice. Pumpkin More cards. Jack and Boogie Woogie monster boards. Uh, one set of Halloween dice. Ooh. 12 so. costume cards and a mysterious promo card. Ooh. Ooh so, two, so, two, so, two, so two new yeah. monsters and a bunch of power-ups that they're, are they're associated pretty cool. with it. Yeah. yeah. Get the game. Right. Get the get the, King of the supplement. And then what else you got? And we do have it here in the store as mm-hmm. well as King of Tokyo. Right we there. should have King of New York as well. Yep. I'm looking right at it. All right. 
also have the released volume one of Stray Dogs. Very good um, book. Don't let this fool you. It, it's very, it's, it's very it's, Disney looking. It's right? drawn in a very Disney style, but it is it is horror. Yes, pure and simple and very it, interesting. It is yeah. awesome. It's really it's good. really good. Really good yeah. comic. All right. Uh, since we're talking about monsters, I thought about talking about a few different monsters. Yeah. Specifically, Ditko's monsters. We have yeah. Gorgo right here. Will yeah. you discover the secret of Gorgo? British Godzilla. British and then Godzilla. Uh, Konga. 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 <laughs> also a Steve Gecko classic. I can't wait for the movie adaptation of Gorgo versus Kong. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a, it's, <laughs> Gorgo versus Kong. It's gonna be a remake yeah. of Godzilla versus Kong, yeah. but British. Yeah, but all British. your all, all the all fifteen actors at the BBC will be in these movies. All fifteen of them. <laughs> Most of them were in Game of Thrones. Right. <laughs> you might get Benedict Cumberbatch, I think, too. I don't know. I may be Hollywood now. Who knows? Right. Um, Over to you, Tony. All right. I also got, got something from Kino Tokyo. Nice. I uh, got this guy. The power up. Panikai. King of Tokyo power yep. up. Yep. It, yeah, this comes with a couple power ups, the panda, of course, and yeah, all the expansions for King of Tokyo are pretty nice. awesome. Nice. Considering that there's even a King Kong one that I showed before in there, the show. Yeah, there is a King yeah. Kong one. And I also have this T shirt of Carnage drawn Ooh. by Pla- Patrick Gleason. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of those. Yeah. That movie's coming out mm-hmm. pretty soon, right? It might even be out when the show airs. Oh, the spooky right. season. Spooky season. Right. Yeah, you're right. All right, we can find all that stuff and more right here at Cosmic Comics in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, guys. Come on down. Spend your money here if you're going to spend your money anywhere. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cosmic Comics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the critically successful attempt at the Dark <laughs> Universe here. Um, so? So, Universal of... attempted to revive uh, yeah. its Universal Monsters. In 2010, believe in it or not. 2010, starting wow. starting with the Wolfman the Wolfman. Movie, uh, and then continuing on into Dracula Untold. Right. Which was then supposed to culminate the beginning in the mummy, right? Like the mummy is supposed to be right. like the last stop before we get into the dark universe. I guess, yeah. And That's what that was. What I had figured, and I, I rem- and I remember way back in 2010 when they were talking about, oh yeah, this is the whole dark universe thing. We're gonna do this thing, and then Wolfman flopped. Yeah, <laughs> and then Dracula and told, and they're like, oh yeah, this Dracula is the beginning, and, did, and did decent. This is it the beginning, yeah. and then that didn't do so well. Mm. And, and then, then the mummy just. And then the mummy. The mummy crapped the bed. Didn't it, 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 it happened. Sure did. It, it happened, and it's oh, God. so. <laughs> Fight a mummy. <laughs> I could do it better if I had a center tooth. Right, right. One center tooth. <laughs> I could do a Russell Crowe impersonation. <laughs> wow, wow, that's ice yeah. cold. That was years ago. That was so many years ago. <laughs> now he holds his hands out when he um, does it. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so this was their attempt at reviving their Universal Monster brand. Right. I will say, um, for me personally, that <laughs> I think uh, financially, I don't know which one is the most successful. But it's, of the three, of the three, okay, I could look. That I, I don't up. think any of them were <laughs> very successful. No, I th- uh, no. But it seems like the first one for a story was the best, and it seemed to get progressively worse. Like, mm-hmm. Dracula had told wasn't very good, but it was okay. I, I thought it was and all right. Then, yeah. And then, of course, uh, The Mummy was just, what is going on? <laughs> now, I I have not seen The Mummy. I refuse to go see it. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what, what can you tell me about The Mummy that... Um, uh, well, you know, let's start with The Wolfman. Since yeah, we okay. All, we so all seem to like that one. Right. Yeah, let's go in order. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, The Wolfman... Let's just start with how much it's grossed, right? Okay. So domestically, it grossed sixty-two point two million dollars, uh, and then internationally, eighty point five million dollars. So yeah, not a huge success. It probably cost eighty so, hundred. So right? so the budget for the movie was one hundred and fifty million, mm. and uh, total, it only got to one hundred and forty-two point six million. Yeah, it did not make it. So money not back. only did it not make it, it very likely lost money. lost money. Right? Lost yeah. a lot of money. Now, I know the production had a lot of problems. I don't remember who the first director was, but I know he was famously fired and then replaced by, um, oh, man, what's his name? He's the, he directed Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, he directed Jurassic Park 3, which, you know, those... I mean... <laughs> that's not, not, not the shining examples of either of those franchises. No, not at all. Um, but I think, uh, you know, he was, he was brought in to do a job, and he did the job. Mm-hmm. He got the movie started, I guess, on time. I know Rick Baker was planning on doing everything in camera using effects. And if you don't know who Rick Baker is, uh, look him up because he's a legend of 
of monster movie Joe, makeup. Joe Johnston. Yeah. yeah. Joe Johnston. Joe Johnston's the director's it. name. Right. The, yeah. yeah. But, uh, Rick Baker wanted to do everything in camera, and I know he had talked to Joe Johnston trying to get everything, and Joe Johnston was like, I, I would love for you to do it. We don't have the time. I was hired, <sighs> I was hired to get this production going. What ended up happening is you have some really spotty CGI in scenes. Oh, like yeah, really spotty. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly the transformation scene. Mainly, yeah. Some of the, it's not, and it's not even that. I know in the Insane Asylum, it's not even that the transformation looks terrible. It's just it doesn't look very polished for CGI at all. You yeah. know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. of course the uh, the Anthony Hopkins one looks just a little odd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what happens in the movie? I think the movie's great, personally. Um, I think it's given very, what's there. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty good movie. Yeah. I think it could have done with a little with some touch ups or something. Right. Maybe even some a post production re release or something right. would have been I, great. I, I, yeah. I would love it if they would spend the money and go back and let Rick Baker actually redo some of those effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you'd have That'd to use CGI because obviously Benicio del Toro is no kid. Yeah, um, he looks noticeably older, um, as does Anthony Hopkins, of course. Yep. So I mean, you'd still have to use some CGI, but you could let him. Do some actual in camera effects. I mean, if they can do it to dead actors playing right, right, a character, yeah. you can't do it to a living actor. Yeah, well, I yeah. know my own feelings about that. <laughs> yeah. About Disney's lack of ability to be able to do that convincingly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, poor Carrie Fisher just looked like a weird animated doll. It was bizarre. Uh, Peter was Cushing so looked like a PS4 character. And he looked like a PS4 character. Who did? Yeah. Peter, Peter, Cushing. Peter Cushing. Yeah. yeah. All right, but for the Wolfman. Um, anyway, back to the Wolfman. <laughs> yeah. So. It, it, what do you think the failing of this movie is? It's obviously, we, we enjoyed the movie. Um, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good gothic sort right. of horror movie. So, it, you know, it's it's not an easy, I don't think it is an easy movie to like. It's very mean-spirited. We were talking about that the I other know, day, right? But, oh, yeah, for ahead. me at least, like, I didn't see it in theaters. I didn't even hear about a Wolfman movie oh, really? until it came out on DVD. I'm like, whoa, holy crap, this movie exists. Yeah. And, and... Wow, I, I wish I, I saw this in theater. Even right. with the spotty transformation scenes, I like, did. like yeah. the Wolfman suit itself, like, yeah, it looks cool. It's awesome, yeah. and <laughs> it, I, 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 sorry, go ahead, continue. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, and like, and then what, what uh, Adam was saying that it is a mean spirited movie, and like, yeah. yeah. It should be. <laughs> yeah, it right. is. It does not care what you think about it. Ma right? And I, I think that's to its credit. I, I, well, yeah, <laughs> and I, maybe it's detriment too. Well, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Well, because if you think about the original Wolfman movie, right, you had like the singular sort of character that you connected with. You kind of felt bad for. Yeah, you feel mm -hmm. empathy towards him, which you do for Benicio del Toro. Despite the fact that a lot of stuff that he does in that movie is very dated, so yeah. just if you watch the original Oh, Wolf you mean Man, the original? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where well, he's like Long spying time. on a girl. Yeah, That's what yeah. girls want is for you to spy on them yeah, and yeah. then tell them, hey, I was spying yeah, yeah. on you. It's very romantic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, besides that, like he's a very sympathetic character, and I think maybe that's what the the first that's what this movie lacked. I think is anyone to sort of connect to, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. or at least a, a singular character or, or uh, protagonist to connect with. Maybe that was it. Maybe people just don't have a need or a want of gothic horror. I mean, how many gothic horror movies have you seen? Since then, yeah, like I mean, yeah. Th there's uh, that um, Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak. Uh, yeah, which is all I can think. Well. It's all that yeah. comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't even like that movie. That you didn't much. like that? I, I liked it. I mean, I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought yeah. it was good. I don't think it's what people expected or wanted. I think yeah. that was its problem. And I think the Wolfman's probably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what people expected, or even if they just didn't care. If it was just. The concept itself was just like, ah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is that why it maybe did it, did it do well on home video? I wonder. Maybe, um, it, maybe it's dated. Maybe the idea of a Wolfman back then was scary, but now yeah. it's like we've had so many other scarier things that like a Wolfman's like no big deal. Yeah, well, he's pretty freaking brutal. In he that is, movie. yes, <laughs> um, especially during the werewolf fight. Which yeah. Is like, but he's no weird ghoul nun, so maybe <laughs> that's what people what the people want. Is that it. jump scares people and yeah. YouTube ads. Well, I know the story is a little convoluted. Like the script is kind of there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and, it, to and when you get yeah. to the finale, it, it is when it really starts to make sense, which is a shame. I think that probably hurt the movie too. Yeah. Um, you know, because ultimately, and I thought it was a great. I don't know if you want to call it a twist. It is a twist in a way, but it's essentially, you know, it's like, it's a wolf pack thing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The old wolf wants to prove his dominance, that he's not ready to go gently into that good night. Yeah. And he is. <laughs> yeah, you just can't keep up just anymore. Just can't let go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Decapitation. Right. Right. So we talked. Okay, so that's the first uh, movie yeah, in this right. very successful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super popular, which I thought was great. Greatly anticipated right. idea of a dark universe. I, I will. I do want to add one thing to the Wolfman before we finish on that. Mm-hmm. Um, on the special features, I remember there's they actually have four endings, and I, Joe Johnson, I think, in his commentary, he even said like, "This is the the ending you got was the ending we wanted, but Universal demanded more endings, so we gave them progressively to de- more depressing endings, hoping they would give us the ending we wanted." Movie executives and. And well, some of those endings get really dark. Yeah. Like everybody dies, both her and him die. Like it's just crazy. Say what you want yeah. about movie executives; they don't like being sad. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so they got the ending they wanted, which is kind of mm-hmm. how it should have ended. You yeah. Know? Yep. Um, I just thought that was a nice, nice touch. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, like the other endings are pretty bad. <laughs> They're pretty depressing. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So let's move on to the next phase. Phase two. So I'll then call we get it. to yeah. We Dracula get to Dracula Untold, Untold which Ooh. we saw in theaters. We did see in theaters, that's right, in 2014? Um, 2014? Was it that long yeah. ago? Yeah, it was. Oh, wow. I was surprised, too. When I looked it up, I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, like it was that long ago, no, but it sure, it sure as heck was, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we saw it in theaters. Um, yep. I, I like the idea. I thought this. I thought it was executed fine up until the end. The third act. The third act was definitely a, a big problem with the movie. I think that's where they were trying to go very superhero with the idea of the of the dark universe. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but well, yeah, especially you, especially with the whole sword fight and like, oh, it's my kryptonite silver. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh. you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, so he I has mean, a weakness, and the guy's using kryptonite against him, basically. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I I watched it more recently and. There were some things that I just couldn't get around. Like, I remember enjoying it when we saw it. And yeah. then I watched it again recently, and there was just some things where I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> not not saying it's not it's not terrible. It's sure. not. There's a lot of, I think there's a lot of good there. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if it was executed well. Like, going back to the whole kryptonite thing. So, you know, here's one thing that stood out. So everybody, everybody, including the Turks, know how vampires work, but... But the local guys, especially Vlad himself, had no idea of any kind of legend surrounding this broken tooth mountain or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, what? Yeah, but everybody seemed to know how vampires just worked, the Just right? the one, just yeah. the one guy was like, you know what? I'm gonna go up there. I think. I think I'm gonna try to get whatever ultimate power this right, is. Right, right. And then the other thing I think that didn't work for me was the idea that. Um, so the the Tywin Lannister vampire's plan, <laughs> yeah, his whole plan was based Charles like, Dance, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna infect somebody, and then when you infect somebody else, I'm free. But yet, I'm gonna kill everybody that comes in here. But you know what? You're special. You're good, dude. You're special. <laughs> like, my, <laughs> like, wait. So my guy, if, if that was the plan, <laughs> like, I just didn't. I get remember it. that scene well. He, he could have w- infected anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that scene very well. He right. was like, blah, my guy. My guy, yeah. You are the You have this. will. He said you, something about you have strength and will. You, you have pluck. Blah. Yeah, yeah basically. It Here is, is a skull. Of... Drink from it. Like, yeah. oh. Ooh, okay. Yeah. That's um, exactly how it went. It kind of, it kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the, he uh, he gets, he becomes a vampire. He right. becomes a force to be reckoned with. Like, all those action scenes and, are very cool. You know, yep. and it seemed like it was going in a good direction. Yeah. Like he, like, he did some things. His people kind of witnessed it. They weren't really happy about it. They started to freak out and hate him. I mean, that's, he's Dracula. That's yeah, what you're supposed to get, right? Vampire, right. And then it sort of turns into a superhero movie, I think, in the last yeah. act. <laughs> like, he wait, has to what? rescue his son. Mm. Yeah, he has to rescue. <laughs> he has to rescue freaking um, uh, Rickon Stark. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> was that uh, who it was? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Shit, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize it when we saw it, because I hadn't watched Game of Thrones back then. But oh, when I okay. watched it recently, I was like, oh, hey, that's Rickon, because I just watched Game of Thrones a few months ago. <laughs> Um, wow, yeah, okay. he, had to re- he had to rescue Rick on Stark, and then he turned a bunch of his <laughs> bunch of his cronies into vampires. It was just like they were doing superhero stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it had a very superhero ending at the end. Yeah, yeah, where he like that, he's like modern I, day now, and he's yeah. still walking around as a vampire, and Charles Dance is behind him, like let the games begin. Yeah, like, stalking him. I don't know. Maybe you're this, already playing the Game of Thrones. Yeah, pal, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine, man. Uh, besides that, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a terrible movie. Like I like I said, I think that the we definitely talked about improving the the last yeah act of it. That last act should have been changed. I didn't like that sort of modern day thing either. That yeah. was bad. I thought. I would have yeah. preferred it. What did you, I was gonna say. What did you think? like if the last act actually 
had him turn full on evil and it's like okay I'll spare my son but I'm like everyone else is gonna become vampires and they're gonna stay vampires no sunlight's gonna kill them and Dracula's gonna like rule for God knows how long <laughs> yeah you know that I wanted to see I wanted to see it almost in a sense not that I'm a big fan of prequels I really don't like it but I would have liked to seen it get to the point where you know because one thing about the book Dracula, right, mm -hmm. is he's been in hiding for several hundred years yeah. for whatever reason. Right. Um, it's it's you know it's estimated that he's just so horrified with what he became, he just sort of disappeared. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he, and now several hundred years have went by, and now he's like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff. Yeah. You know what? Uh, oh yeah, because the whole because um, he was a genius, but he was yeah. also even Van Helsing, I think, called him an infant brain. It was like he had no experience. He was very smart, but he had no experience because he'd been in hiding for so long. Yeah, right. and like the whole plot of him, like, oh, like she, she's the reincarnation of my long lost. So that's that. That's, that does never, yeah, never that does comes from Stoker. Book. Yeah, never that's, comes. That's from just Stoker, in the yeah. Coppola film, right? Yeah, that kind of, yeah, they've they've recycled that several times. I'm trying to Ever remember since the Coppola movie. <laughs> no, it was before no? that. I no? I remember. Or wait, was it in? The I used to know where that came from, and now I don't remember. It wasn't in the, any of the Christopher Lee movies, or um, I don't think it was in the Christopher Lee movie, um, but it came from somewhere, and it wasn't the Coppola movie. I don't remember. There was something else that used that idea that he thought it was a you know, reincarnation of Mina was a reincarnation of his wife. Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't know why they're always stuck on that now. <laughs> it has yeah, to be yeah. a love story to yeah. make him more sympathetic. Um, yeah, right. Like. No. But I would, I would have liked to have seen him just partially, like, just angry and ashamed and sort of going into hiding and then maybe doing something in the modern day where he decides, you know what, why am I just rotting away in a castle? I'm going to I'm gonna do some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do some things. I'm going to do some things. But anyway, yeah. Okay. So, so that's, that's it for that. So uh, just sort of box office wise, actually, right. this movie did uh, the hell of a lot better than Wolfman did. Uh, it grossed 56.3 million here in North America, yeah. 159.2 million oh, wow. in uh, other countries, and uh, for a grand total of two, two 215.5 yeah. million uh, on a budget of 70 million. Oh, so it did okay. So yeah, comparatively, it, it did a lot more. better than uh, yeah. uh, Wolfman, but yeah, it, you know, it did pretty decent. I thought Luke Evans was, for the most part, good as Dracula. Yeah. Um, weirdly, a lot of his sort of cronies and right hand men, they just. What's the one actor? He's in 28 Days Later. He, oh. like, never spoke. Yeah. That was kind of weird, I thought. I don't know if I just. There was a few of that where he, it's like, I don't know. I like the costume and set designs. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like it looked was, great. Like, like the movie looks great. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah, like, his design is, like, heavily homage to Nosferatu, like, right. with the long nails and the teeth, like that. Yeah, he looks yeah. cool. Um, I didn't quite understand his purpose, like I said, his curse and his purpose and function. I mean, it was interesting. I mean, Dracula's got to come from somewhere. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got to be. He's got to become a vampire somehow. I didn't right? mind that. It was just weird how it played out. Like, you know, I'm going to kill everybody that comes into my cave. But yeah, you, yeah. sir. You know, there's like, some about you. There's a real, there's real protagonist energy coming from you. <laughs> yeah. So right. I'll, I'll let you. Yeah. It, right. it made the Coppola version a little bit more sensible in comparison. You know, the Coppola version, <laughs> since we're touching upon that, um, I, I both kind of love and hate that movie. <laughs> like, there are some things about that that are so bad and so stupid. But that movie's, like, so weird in, yeah. like, a very sort of entrancing way. Yeah, yeah, but there's also things about it I really like, genuinely like. Yeah. Well, the costume design is something that just st st points out, like, a sore thumb. I'm like, right. why is Dracula wearing that? Yeah. Um, Keanu Reeves is not good in that film. Look, he's grown young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's not good. Keanu? Oh, it was Tony. Yeah. Oh, Tony. He he was kind of me for a loop. I thought kinda, he was in here. He was kind of an it guy at the time, so that's why he was in it. But he wasn't good in it. He's got that. Um, oh. I don't know what they call it, but that very neutral face. I yeah. think was they were talking about. That's what his appeal is. Yeah. Is like you can just sort of copy and paste your face yeah, on yeah. that very neutral face of his. Um, but I, on the plus side for the Coppola version, like. The cinematography is amazing. The set design's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah, just a true. beautiful looking film. <laughs> but but they do things I think that are just so bizarrely cheesy. Yeah. Like like I remember the movie started and it's kind of good, but then suddenly like the shadow thing doesn't quite work for me. It almost comes off as slapsticky. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just a little too much. <laughs> and then you have the eyes in the sky and you're like, really, dude? They, they should have added like the little xylophone sound effects <laughs> for the shadow I, well, I like them just because they were practical effects. Yeah. All well, those. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
All right, so on to let's yeah yeah we're, yeah, we're getting all the so way off. So what's what's next after that, Tony? The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise. Starring Tom. Starring Cruise. Thomas as Cruise. The Mummy. Um, as kind of the Mummy in the end, and yeah. starring Russell Crowe as Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that at all. <laughs> yeah, that movie, man. He's supposed I, to be the Hulk character, I, I think. I'll, I'll tell yeah. you, I remember when we were all working at DJ, right? And it was like, and I think you, me, you, myself, and I, did I say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> you, myself, and um, Michelle were talking about it. And yeah. I think, I don't remember if you said you wanted to see it, but I know she was just like, oh, that looks so good. And I was just like, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. And here's why. It looks like a superhero movie. I, I remember I liked, saying that. I liked, it looks like yeah, a superhero I like movie. I like the actress who plays the mummy. Yes. Right. Oh, I remember yeah, yeah. saying that, but I, I don't, I didn't particularly really want to see it. I didn't have any interest in actually seeing right. it. Yeah. And so. then, so I watched it a few days ago. Why? Morbid curiosity. Uh, <laughs> um, and you know, because we you, were gonna, we you were didn't gonna, buy it, did you? Well, I rented it because it's like it's three bucks. So. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Is wow. it? Is it okay? Uh, no. What's okay? It the hurt. fact that you bought it or the movie? Itself? Oh, I didn't buy it. I rented it. I you should be ashamed it. of yourself. If I bought it, it would have been like fifteen. Bucks Just read the more. synopsis on Wikipedia, <laughs> you dolt. Well, anyway, I I can honestly <laughs> say that it was worse than I imagined. It really so, was. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was worse. It was just shockingly dumb. Like, what is going on? <laughs> like, so many things just you know, didn't make sense. I feel it's my... S- dumb since uh, a lot of the stuff that's in that movie has been done better in other oh, movies. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. having his friend being a ghost. That's from American Wolf in London. Yeah, not yeah. to mention... And that guy wasn't bad. It's just, it didn't... I, their chemistry didn't work, I think. Like, they don't... They didn't seem genuinely like friends. I don't know. It was weird. It seemed like he did a better job of acting like Tom Cruise's friend than Tom Cruise Cruise acted like his friend. (laughs) It was just weird. Tom Cruise very much has that, like, I'm your best friend, you're not my best friend energy. (laughs) I think Tom Cruise really brings that in every movie that he's in. You know, I mean... You know, I find myself saying what the hell in a lot of Tom Cruise movies now. I think think The Mummy... And, you know, and I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan, but I think The Mummy... It's the first movie where I think he's really showing his age because mm. he doesn't seem to fit in with the his co-stars. Like he's clearly older. He's everyone. It's it's, it's very Tommy Wiseau the room where he's, he's, he's trying to be a t- 20 something but he's clearly like more like Almost a late 40, 30 yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. This was the same he, thing where everybody was like a early 30 something and he was clearly even though he's in his 50s, he was clearly in his 40s. Sure. In the movie, you know. Yeah. What I mean, it just didn't it didn't it seemed off. He's just everyone's dad in that movie. Right. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Yep. Yeah, there was that. Like he didn't fit in with the female love interest. He didn't. Oh, he didn't fit in with his best friend. They just seemed really far I always, apart. I always feel weird whenever I see him in a movie where he has a love interest of any kind. Like it's, it's, it's weird to think of him as anything but like asexual. You know? <laughs> yeah, he does. Is it just me? Like, he, it, no. I, like I don't. I don't get any yeah. chemistry from him yeah, he with anyone. Yeah, he doesn't feel like he's a sexual being. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, so. Uh, <laughs> It, but I know this one was, they wanted it to be big, you know. They, this was supposed to be, this was supposed I to assume, kick everything yeah, up, I, right? Th- I guess they assumed they had Tom Cruise, it was going to be a winner. Couldn't couldn't lose or whatever. Um, <laughs> you're just, Tony, uh, you're just over there closing your eyes like, uh, no, it was bad. It, yeah. So the movie, uh, in total, made $410 million. Okay. Uh, with a budget of three hundred and forty-five million. Dear God, the budget was that high. Yes, yeah, so it would have had to have made <laughs> well, Tom Cruise four, made a buttload about of it. four fifty or something yeah, to break e- least, to yeah. break even. Yeah, to break even. Jeez. Wow. So, so Dracula this movie Untold still failed. the big winner. Dracula Untold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we're talking dark universe, yeah. Dracula Untold is the best movie in the dark yes. universe. <laughs> Well, that's okay. That's 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 not bad. Uh, Let's talk about the scene where, like, you get to see a, a vampire skull and the gill man's arm. Oh yeah, is that yeah, in the movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, like there's a part where it's it's kind of like that uh, one uh, one file scene from Batman vs Superman where like Wonder Woman sees like all the other superheroes. Like it's like, oh yeah, here's all these other monsters that yeah we're gonna definitely have sequels for. Not. Yeah. 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 Do, yeah. Do, did you ever remember? Um, you remember uh, Venture Brothers? Yeah. The the action team. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Otto Aquarius? Yes. They're sort of Aquaman, Gillman, yeah. like analog. Uh, yeah, analog. <laughs> who ha- uh, in the show was a turned into a, relig- a religious. Yes, missionary. he was very religious. I yeah. would love it if they introduced the Gillman. <laughs> 
Not as a religious missionary, but like just as a, some guy, he works at a factory, like in like straight up fish form. <laughs> Everyone talks to him like he's normal, like, hey, Phil, see you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. We're going to Gillies to grab some beers, you down? Like, Gillies. no, not this time, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, 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 not tonight, guys. Not tonight, guys. Not tonight, guys. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. The wife's been busting my balls about getting home so late. So, after the mummy, <laughs> that was so after stupid. the mummy, clearly Universal just said we're done. Like Screw this. it. Yeah. And they handed it over to Blumhouse, which well, yep. I had mixed feelings about it. <laughs> now you've seen. The Invisible Man. You liked it very well, much. I know a lot of people there's, did. Sure, there's yeah. one aspect of it that I didn't like at all, but the pacing, the tone of the movie, yeah, uh, I it was good. Yeah, yeah. I had heard I from I heard from other people that it was actually very good. Yeah, like it's definitely a different take on the character. Yeah, by a lot. It's a more way more modern than it needs to be, honestly. But yeah. it's still <laughs> it's too modern. It, it's still grim and it don't shows, explain it to me. Just say the guy drinks a potion. He's invisible now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. uh, but um, <laughs> you know. But it show it it really does show like what someone could do with invisibility like how, like how bad someone who is presumed dead, um, how how bad someone could mess up someone's life yeah. for, by being now, invisible. Again, I hadn't seen it from what I heard. This guy was already terrible anyway, right? Oh, so yeah, he was already he, like a kind of a jerk. He yeah. was okay. Well, a little synopsis. He's an ab- he was an abusive, abusive husband. husband, right? Mm. Yeah, and. <laughs> And and now he's worse. Yeah. Who's like, worse? His invisible man like, or Kevin know. Bacon's invisible you know, man? But you know what's oh, funny? Hollow man is still I <laughs> I watched that fairly recently Hollow man? last year or so. I remember when it came out I didn't like it. I liked it. I was like, this is actually really Surprisingly kind of a good, good yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. Like it must have been a little maybe it was a little ahead of its time. I don't know. But I was like, no, this movie actually works. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. here's the thing. He, you could tell Did I say that Kevin Spacey or did I say Kevin Bacon? Kevin no, Bacon. you said Bacon. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> oh, my God. I was, no, Kevin, I was like, Kevin, Kevin Spacey's Kevin Spacey? the new Invisible Man. <laughs> 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 good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. Well, we're, yeah, we're getting a lot of technical issues today. Oh, okay. Oh. The audio seems like it's still going. It's just the cameras freeze up. Everywhere. Uh, that's all right. We're we're almost yeah. good with this. Yeah. But with Hollow Man, you, could get, get, you definitely get the feeling that this guy is slowly going nuts from just being invisible. Yeah. Yeah, he's slowly going insane. Right. And he was already kind of a douche to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was very arrogant. Okay, anyway. So I think that wraps it up. But the dark universe yeah. that never was. Yep. Can we just talk um, about predictions? Like what would the dark universe uh, have been? What are they gonna do they now? Continue? Well, I mean, are they going to do anything now? No. Like like Well they are, but no one cared gonna, when it was a big deal. Right. I don't think anyone's gonna care now. I might be I wrong. I thought Johnny Depp was supposed to be an invisible man in the dark universe. Oh maybe. I could see I just that. I just know they're moving forward with these smaller um, mm. co-produced independent movies. Oh, yeah, with the Blumhouse ones. Yeah, with the Blumhouse uh, ones, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that means. Although I don't, you know, I honestly I, don't I, know if there's anything in the works. I think a Dracula was announced a oh, was while it? ago. This is pre-COVID, so who knows what, what yeah. must, must happen to You know, the, the, the fairly recent BBC Dracula, which was eh. by the terrible... Stephen Moffat. Um, oh boy! Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a Stephen. No. I, yeah, well, that's weird. I, I love and hate some of the work Stephen Moffat's done. He's the, definitely very much a single episode writer his, for sure. Yeah, it's, his Dracula had a lot of interesting concepts, but I don't think it was very who, good who as a Dracula? whole. I don't think it was very good. Who played Dracula? Um, I don't. I like remember his name, Dracula. but he was really good. Yes, he was played, actually really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. But like by yeah. the third episode, which was the last episode, by the time jump that ah, yeah. that that's when it started to fall apart for me right hmm. it was an adaptation of the original novel though it wasn't oh, like a, okay. it wasn't like a show it, it wasn't a show or was it a show well it was like a it was like a was, three episode mini series oh, okay. but it was yeah. an adaptation of the book they just did this weird thing where they jumped ahead to the yeah. modern day oh. at one point yeah it was okay. bizarre that's where it got all moffity uh, well, no, it was Moffity before that. But <laughs> oh, okay. Like I said, there was some some of the concepts and ideas are really cool, but then right. like some yeah. of the way, you know, there was this whole thing where he hated mirrors, not because he didn't cast a reflection, because it showed what he really looked like. And, and he was like all decayed. Yeah, he didn't want to see himself. Yeah. That made sense. But then weirdly, some lady he turned into a vampire. She only saw herself as young and beautiful, although she was all burnt. Until she like, got the realization. And then they took a yeah phone picture of her. It was just like, wait, so that's backwards of how? Yeah. Was, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how does this work? It's, it's Moffat logic. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Moffat logic. Yeah. But all that was interesting. Can I yeah. tell you what my dark universe would be? Huh. Uh, weird monsters that aren't like part of like the universal monster sort of roster, yeah. Just from different movies, like if I had the money to take 
some sort of creature from different movies and put it together as a superhero team, I think that would rule, right? Like, imagine yeah. a team led by Edward Scissorhands, and they're heavy. <laughs> they're heavy is the creature from the host. Yeah. Oh and my like, god. <laughs> my god. Sadako is in it. Yeah, like the whole thing. Sadako. Yeah. So. Um, that would be my idea for <laughs> Dark I universe. think you know, I think one of the biggest problems with trying to do a dark universe Psycho Gorman's in it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Is um I think one of the biggest problems is you know, because a lot of the later movies, the universal horror movies from like the forties and fifties, yeah, were cheesy, but they were good because you had like this mishmash of different monsters and things like that. And I think all that sort of culminated with the excellently cheesy monster squad. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. Monster Squad. You had awesome. like those awesome. classic yeah. monsters all together. It was sort of a self-contained adventure. Yep. It was funny. It's good, and then you know it's like, well, now how do you go from there? Are you trying yeah. to recapture that? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Yeah. It's plus, cert- plus, they were most of them were villains, whether willing or unwilling, in right. their in their movies. Yeah. So what do what do a superhero group of Universal monsters fight against? Well, and that what was, do you put them up against? Ooh. Well, that was the problem. I think that, <laughs> that would seem the most logical. That right? was the big problem. I think with the end of the Mummy is mm. like it was this whole thing like he's out there struggling with the dark half, but now he's this powerful creature. And he can do so much good for humanity. Yes. And, you know, Who? Tom, Who? Tom, Tom, Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, the mummy of... He, Tom Cruise. <laughs> yes. He, Tom Cruise exactly becomes the, the m- look on my face. Yeah. Like, wait, so, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys have to explain this to me. <laughs> Tom, Cruise beca- Tom Cruise becomes the mummy at the yes. end of the mummy. The mummy yeah. of Scientology. The m- <laughs> but that's how it ends. It's like... I want to move... He's, he's out there somewhere in the world, and he can do so much good for humanity. I want you know, a 10 minute short... He's fighting his dark side. I want like, a 10 oh, minute God. short film... <laughs> In which Brendan, present day Brendan Fraser, kills, kills Tom, Tom Cruise's, Cruise's drag, uh, kills drag, uh, Tom Cruise's wow. mummy. Yeah, yeah, he can do that. He's robot man. Yeah. He's robot yeah. man. And we'll, we'll throw Rachel Weiss in it just because you know I love Rachel awesome. Weiss because yeah, she's, she's fantastic. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So she can just right. be in it too. That'd be cool. All right. Uh, anyway, let's, let's so get out of here, um, yeah. yeah, let us know in the comments about <laughs> your feelings on the dark universe. <laughs> what could have been? What may have been? I don't know. That's I mean, a no from me, dog. It's a no from me, dog. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I didn't do too much. I, I only did as much about as much research as I could on this thing. It was, yeah. it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm sorry. The whole thing I mean, is. Dumb. I could probably write a good. It's superhero. Just, I bet you could. You know, movie. I. In my in the at the ending of you my know, dark universe movie, Nick Fury would ask them if they want to join the I, Avengers. I think if they would have. St- Honestly, I think if they would have sort of stuck with it and actually produced a darker, more serious Dracula film, and if that got attention, and maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't, you would get the Wolfman getting attention. Like, but they just, it seemed like every movie got dumber and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is going on? It's just, I don't know. I think if they would have sort of stuck to their guns and kept moving forward with the plan with the Wolfman, I think it yeah. probably would have been interesting. Because mm-hmm. the Wolfman is a, if you're a horror fan and you've never seen 2010's Wolfman, I mean, give it a chance. Yes. Yeah. Because it is a dark, brutal, mean movie. Yeah. 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 And that's why it's, it's, it's good. really good. It's, it's so different from any good. other yeah. movie that you've seen, at least at the time. At least modern day. It's yeah. a werewolf yeah. where it looks, it's, it's a wolf man, not a guy that who looks like turns a wolf into man. a wolf. Yeah. 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 Like, you're like, it's a hairy, muscular guy with claws who, yeah. who does kill a lot of people. Yeah. things up. Yeah, he mm. just As werewolves up. tend to do. Right, yeah. yeah. And None of that Twilight werewolf where it's just a big wolf. <laughs> they just right. turn into a big old wolf, big yeah. old dire wolf, no. yeah. Yeah, world of darkness fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get out okay, of here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, let us know in the comments what you think of the Dark Universe and what could have been or should have been. Uh, Hit the notification bell. Right. Oh, like, yeah. share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe if you're so inclined to. Let us know if we're doing a good job or a bad job. Right. And we will see you guys next week. All right. Welcome so to the spooky season. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs>